What's up, guys? Welcome to Geek Done Right, the show where I talk about whatever it is I feel like. I'm Chris. Thanks for coming to Geek Out with me. eBay scalpers of the world rejoice. The NES Classic Mini that I spoke about previously, you may want to check out that video, um, has been discontinued. So be ready to look on eBay for jacked up prices to the absurd level, or better yet, ludicrous level. Nintendo has finally pulled it from the shelves. Looking at it, I, I never really got to handle it my, uh, myself, but there were a few things that I wasn't really crazy about. One of the things was um, the fact that the cables for the controllers were like super short. Like, uh, remember back in the day when like your mom would be like, don't sit too close to the TV. <laughs> yeah, well, that's the only way you can play the Nintendo Classic. I mean, man, my old Nintendo back there has, like, super long cables. Or at least it would have been nice to be able to hook up some wireless controllers to this thing. I mean, this thing was really more powerful um, than even the Super NES or Nintendo 64 was back in the day. Like... Had a lot more processing power and of course people use that to their advantage they figured out how to hack it to where you can add more games to it which uh, really does kind of make it a little more worthwhile than just sticking with the general 30 however all you super NES fans out there rumor has it according to Eurogamer which got the rumors related to the Nintendo Switch, right? That there is going to be a Super NES Mini. Yes, there is going to be a Super NES Mini console coming out. And it's looking like it's going to be around December time frame. Uh, my prediction is that it's probably going to be around the same type of thing, like 30 games. But uh, you know what? Uh, the Super NES had some great games back in the day. Uh, you had Zelda, Link to the Past. You had uh, Super Mario World, which, I mean, was great. It was the introduction to Yoshi. A lot of people seem to have liked uh, Star Fox for it. Uh, I mean, I had a lot of fun with F-Zero. I mean, uh, uh, that was a pretty fun game. And also, Super Mario RPG wasn't really my thing, but I knew a lot of people that really enjoyed that one as well. If they could find some way to put Turtles in Time on there, that would be absolutely killer. Nintendo, please make the chords longer. I mean, that was a bit ridiculous. I mean, it, uh, I, it couldn't have been more than like a three, maybe max four foot cord i mean it, it was short it was really really short and you know i don't know about most people but i mean personally i like to kick back in game just saying i'm kind of wondering i mean it does seem like this is being a little lucrative for nintendo these classic consoles and things like that could it really be that lucrative i mean you're really tapping into the nostalgia market but i mean there were a few things they kind of miss uh mistook like the popularity of the nintendo classic and they didn't have enough consoles ready uh, when they first put them out so do you think they're gonna learn from that <sighs> me personally I hope that they do. I hope that uh, they put more games on it. Because like that, I mean, the 30 game limit for me, it just, uh, or at least allow us the opportunity to like purchase more games. Um, maybe have it hooked to the internet. I, I don't care if it's only wirelessly. So where, you know, we can 
uh, either earn points, the Nintendo points thing, and purchase games, or to purchase games uh, directly from the store with real money, which honestly can only be a good thing for Nintendo in the long run. Well, that's going to wrap things up for this episode of Geek Done Right. Hey, so what games do you hope will end up being on this SNES Mini? Let me know down below. And please help me out. Like this video, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications so you know when more episodes are coming out. Once again, I put out videos every second and fourth Saturday of the month. And be ready for more videos from Geek Done Right. Until next time, y'all take it easy. Peace.